spirit guides. Is it possible that all of us have access to our very own guardian angel, a team of archangels and ministry of angels amongst other spirit guides to propel us forward in this human experience? Well, in this brand new series, I'm calling Brochuality, we break down spiritual jargon and explain it through bro -y type movies. Previously in the series, we looked at the movie Old School and how channeling was demonstrated in this classic comedy. In this episode, we're going to look at one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, Basketball, an extremely silly comedy by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the creators of South Park. In this scene, Trey Parker's character, Joe Cooper, who just happens to be the Michael Jordan, if you will, of basketball, is going through a bit of soul searching. As he's in the car, innocently listening to music on the radio, the lyrics start to speak directly to him. It goes, if some guy's trying to blackmail you and your girlfriend thinks you suck, it's up to you to let them know it's just part of some rich guy's evil plan. As if this isn't enough, the next line in the song on the radio is, look out ahead, there's a truck changing lanes. And just as these words are sung, we see the character Joe swerve in his car to avoid an accident. Okay, so I know this can be a bit of a stretch, but here's the thing. They say spirit guides communicate to us in the form of electricity and technology. Some common examples are angel numbers. The most commonly known angel number is 1111, but really any repeating numbers that you see typically means that your angels are with you. you you can research the specific numbers to encode a more direct message. Another example of spirits communicating through technology is the flickering of lights. If you've ever experienced lights flickering when they shouldn't be, it's most likely that your guides are attempting to communicate with you. Back to this specific scene with the character Joe Cooper and the music speaking directly to him. As a result of the direct message through the song on the radio, Joe changes his course of action. His guides literally helped him to realign him to be on a path that serves him best. Now, please don't go out expecting direct messages from your guides. They're as clear as it is illustrated in this scene. However, I do highly recommend calling in your guides through prayer. If you want to learn more about how you can make contact with spirit guides, I highly recommend the book Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette as she walks you through step by step through all the various guides and how to make contact. Remember friends, the magic is abundant and it's all around us. We just need to be open to be living in a world of magic. I am, are you? Till next time, I'm Sam Cabert and make sure to check out my podcast, Soul Seeker, if you wanna go deeper down the rabbit hole.